If you could just introduce yourself. <laughs> um, Merrill Lake. I was raised in a small town of Bush, Alaska. Uh, woke up one day and decided to join the Marine Corps. <laughs> you were 18 when you joined the Marines? Yes. And when did you get out of the Marines? May of last year, 2012. Where were you stationed at? Uh, Camp Pendleton. Um, so, California. Na- so now you're back in Anchorage. And we're talking today because you had kind of front row seats to a, um, to a crime downtown on Wednesday. Can, can you just tell me, when, when did you realize, you, you were walking downtown, when and where were you? Um, I was walking by the front of, the very front of Key Bank, um, with, with headphones in, just listening to my music, um, just doing my own thing, and to my left I see this this lady banging on the window, hysterical, um, trying to, at first I saw the blinds going up and down on one side, and she finally got it up and she was banging on the window saying, saying stop him, stop him. Uh, I was reading her lips, I had, I had my earbuds in, well, headphones. She was saying stop him, stop him, and then I, I glanced over and I said, sir, she's calling you. Um, he had mentioned something, oh, it's okay, I'll, I'll, Oh, it's okay. Um, it's just something with work. He said something, and I glanced back over at her again, and um, she was still hysterically banging on the window. And I read her lips again: "Stop him, robber, robbery, or something along those lines." And then I was like, "Oh crap!" I look. I glance over, and he starts jogging. And it wasn't until then that I started running after him. He disappeared around the corner through an alley, and I sprinted up in front of him, and I started, um, I started pacing with him, walking backwards, keeping a close eye on his, on his hands. He had one hand on the on a backpack, and the other was just swinging back and forth. And I kept one hand out, one hand out like like this, just to, just to make sure that he didn't do anything. Um, I finally got him to stop as soon as we reached the end of the alley. And, and why were you watching his hands at that point? To make sure he didn't pull out a weapon of any sort. Um, so you, you know, you're, you're walking with this guy, you're trying to talk to him, but you don't know if he has a, you don't know what he has. I, I, running up to him, I could not even tell what he was holding, what he, what he had in front of him, or what he had done. All I knew was this woman was claiming robbery. Just ran, ran for it. Um, and so, and then he st- he stopped at some point. Um, while I was pacing in front of him, he had, he he was telling me I, I was <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> I was asking him, sir, what's going on? Um, this lady wants to talk to you. What's going on? He had said, um, come with me to the bus, and I will explain everything that's going on. I overdrew on my account. And she's trying to she's trying to get get a hold of me, and it 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 clicked right then and there. Okay, sir, you're robbing a bank. Um, we stopped at the corner. Then, as soon as I said that, uh, you need to turn around and go back to the bank. Turn around and go back to the bank. Uh, he wasn't he wasn't listening, and he got he got a little agitated with me. He's like, who are you? And I told him right then and there, sir, I'm a U.S. Marine. You need to turn around and go back to the bank. Um, he paused with, with this blank look on his face um, for about 10 seconds. And then he said, I need to sit down. Um, I followed him up to a bench right next to the Egan Center. He sat down, dropped the backpack in, in front of him, and... I glanced over to my left and APD Cruiser was just coming out of an alley across the street and I was waving at him. Um, he, he had, <laughs> APD hesitated at first, like he pumped the brakes a little bit, he, he went forward like a few more feet and then he completely stopped. I'm like, come here, come here. <laughs> uh, and he came out, I overheard, is this, uh, we might have the guy. And he, he was put in handcuffs. Um, and so, so let so let me back up at the point you know because you had a decision to make when that when that 
you know, when the woman's banging on the, the, the window and it's clear, you know, and she's saying there's a robbery, um, you know, why did you, you know, especially, you know, you've got a guy carrying a bag, you don't know what's in the bag. Why did you confront him? Why did you go up to him and, and talk to him? It really just didn't come into thought. We, um, it didn't come into thought at all. As soon as, as, soon as I read the, her lips robbery, I just thought he's got to be stopped. Whatever he's doing is wrong. I don't know. Um, and when we talked before. You said that that you know your training. The, that your training as a marine you know came into play. Yes. H- how so? Um, at the start of basic, we're taught certain key words like uh, when the drill instructor says ears, we got to say open, sir. When he says eyeballs, we say click, sir, and look at him. Um, and we're told that. I mean, it's drilled into our brains that we got to respond and comply and, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and do you think, I mean, did that give you the confidence to go up, like the confidence to go up and kind of uh, confront it's, him? It's embedded in to every Marine, every single one. It's embedded from day one in training. You're broken down mentally and brought up again with a higher standard of living. 